Hey guys, it's Jared Anderson here with Invictus Weightlifting. I'm here with athlete Sarah Lugman. Uh, today we're going to go over the three uh, most common mistakes in the jerk. Okay, so we're talking about the dip and drive, we're talking about the landing position, the, the punch, the landing, uh, but the three most common mistakes that I see. So the biggest one that I'll see is uh, the dip being forward. Okay, and most commonly the feet are really narrow and the feet will be pretty straight. Okay, and then as a result, she'll end up dipping forward and then landing and catching forward, right? So as she finishes, everything comes forward. Good, and one more time. You watch as it kind of goes forward, and we're making a pretty extreme example, but you're, you're getting the idea, okay? Uh, so what, good, and we'll actually go ahead and relax. And usually the reason this happens, you can set the bar down, um, is when her feet are so narrow, right? When she goes to dip, so go ahead and dip just with your feet, yep, just so you can see. Narrow. Yep, really narrow and even come a little bit forward, it's really only loading her quads, right? Because she's so narrow, she can't get into a, like a, a good upright squat position as she comes forward, so it really overloads her quads. And very commonly, you'll end up seeing athletes get relax. As they dip down, at the very last second, they do like a, what I call the desperation Hail Mary, where they'll come here, and at the last second, their knees go like this. And you'll see it all the time for people who have their uh, knees straight, uh, and their toes straight in the jerk because they're looking for power. They're searching for answers and they're not going to get it, right? It's throwing that Hail Mary up. And the fix for this is we want to be able to move your feet wider and externally rotate them. Okay, so let's show that one time. Notice her, her foot position is going to be a little bit wider. And now when she dips, and we'll pause in the bottom of the dip, her knees are straight out over her toes. So now when she lowers it, she's able to get the loading on her hamstrings glutes and quads rather than just her quads going forward. Good, now let's do a jerk. Good, recover and then let's face the camera for one just so they can see kind of that width and uh, external rotation in that start position. And go ahead, yep, and jerk, good. And you can see that big difference, good, go ahead and relax for me. You can see that big difference in the jerk when people are dipping forward. So the fix for that, if you're coming forward, if you're feeling forward, losing a lot of jerks forward, is move, externally rotate those feet a little bit more, point your toes out, knees out, uh, move your feet a little bit wider, that way you can stay upright and load your uh, hamstrings, butt, and quads, as opposed to just your quads. Uh, the second common mistake that I'll see in the jerk is the footwork, right? I'll see people land in the split jerk and they'll be a little bit too narrow, okay? They'll be in this really long lunge position so chances are you probably barely stood up with the clean, right? It's probably a very hard clean. So the chances of going into a deep lunge and actually making it are pretty slim, right? You'll see people reach really far into this lunge and maybe end up trying to uh, save it as they go lower. And usually the lower you go, the less probable you are to like it every inch lower that you go. So let's, let's demo one of those where you're really reaching really far forward as you try to catch it. All the way in the split? Yep, all the way in the split. Good. Yep, and you can see it ends up kind of centering her torso forward, and she's really narrow and in a really long lunge. Good. Go ahead and recover. And let's, let's face the camera for one as well, so they can kind of see how long. Good. You notice how narrow she is, and also how long it is. Good. And then recover. So what I want to see happen in this position is I want a wider position. Okay. So instead of being so long. I want that same distance, but I want it displaced to the side. Okay, so let's actually face the camera again. And then let's jerk. Good. So instead of being so long, notice how much wider she is in that position. So she actually has more stability, right? And so maybe if her foot was, so let's put your foot here. Notice that's long and narrow, right? So all she's going to do is move her foot back a little bit and then now out. So now she's got more stability and her feet don't take as long to get into position because they're not reaching as far out. So she's much less likely to also press out or have that bar crash on her because her feet are in that position. Good, and relax. Okay, so for that fix, instead of thinking about the, uh, the split jerk being a long lunge, really just think about it being a little bit wider, okay? So this way you're nice and stable and your feet are gonna hit the ground sooner and you're more likely to be able to save a lift if you need to from that more athletic position as well. Okay, and you can even just tell with her position there, it looks a lot more natural uh, than that really long position. All right, so the third mistake that I'll see in, this, in the jerk uh, is the back foot. That, that back foot causes a lot of problems with people making or missing a jerk. 
and I'll see a couple of different issues when they're receiving the bar uh, is that the back leg will be straight or it'll be turned out. Okay, so let's demo a couple of these issues that are going on. Good, and pause. Notice this back foot is pointed really towards the camera, okay? And she is pointed this direction. So her knee and, and her foot are trying to support here, but she is faced in this direction. Okay, we call it the Mr. Deeds foot, right? It's like that flat club foot. It's just an anchor, it's holding you down to the ground. You can't really move. So if you have to save a lift, it's not gonna happen. Okay, so what we want is this back heel up off the ground and pointed straight ahead. This way she's athletic and can move, but because she's so wide, she can also be stable. Okay, and then the, the, the next issue that we'll see, we'll hold you in that position, is that really straight back leg. Okay, so let's bring it straight. And that usually causes two problems to happen. Okay, number one, if you're a little bit immobile, it'll cause you to lean forward pretty far. Okay, you'll see people, that back leg causing them to go forward, okay? And then the second issue that you'll see with a straight back leg is if you're really mobile, they'll end up, they know they gotta be upright, so they'll end up, you know, arching their back to try to stay upright, so their thoracic spine's basically touching their butt, right? They're really over arched with that belly button forward. So the fix for this is to, do, uh, to really focus on bending that back knee to make it feel more athletic and also focusing on that foot position because if that foot is here, it's very unlikely you're gonna bend that knee. So a lot of times those two, good, go ahead and relax. And a lot of times those two go hand in hand, those two mistakes where if that leg is pointed sideways, you are gonna keep it straight. Okay, it's very rare you're gonna bend it. So focus on having that pointed in the right direction and that'll also help you bend uh, that back knee so you can be in a more stable uh, athletic position as well. And something else we'll do with that is we'll do a lot of accessories from that position, building some comfort in that split position. Okay, so from that ideal split position, we'll do strict presses, we'll do push presses, we'll, do, we'll even do jerks from that split position to build comfort there, because otherwise we never spend time in that position, right? Especially because what we prefer, you know, is to teach a little bit different than a long lunge catch. Uh, it's, it's a really foreign position, so we gotta build comfort there.